Aries and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have sat in front of my beautiful backdrop here and just laid out all my makeup and played with it with y'all. I have missed this tremendously. I've been doing the vlog style videos more recently and I do love those but I got back to my roots today, back to my passion and I had so much fun with it. So welcome back or welcome if you're visiting for the first time. My name is Jen and my channel is all things makeup, beauty, realness, motherhood, day in the life, craziness, trying to keep it real as possible and loving on y'all in the process. So thank you so much for tuning in. It means the world to me. And today we are going to do this simple intro into spring makeup look. It's um, very glowy, very rosy, kind of light, but nice focus on the lips and the cheeks and a light focus on the eyes. And I really enjoyed doing it for y'all. And that's one of the reasons, honestly, I haven't done makeup videos in a while is because my products are so tried and true. Like when I say I love them, I genuinely do. So I use them over and over again to where people are like, girl, show us some variety. So you will see a lot of products that you've seen before, but you'll see a few new featured items. And I hope y'all enjoy. It's going to be voiceover, so it's not so lengthy. But yeah, buckle up, y'all, and let's get started. Okay, y'all, so getting started, I'm going back in with my old faithfuls, the Dermacol and the L'Oreal Infallible. I know, I know, I use these frequently, but they are my tried and true, and my skin has been a troublemaker lately and has been playing me, and these are very full coverage and very long lasting, so that's what I'm using right now. Um, I actually ordered um, the new Morphe foundation, which I'm really excited about, and I plan on doing a review and wear test on that this week, and I'm super pumped about that. Um, so we will enjoy that foundation when it comes in, but in the meantime, we're sticking with my old faithful. So again, I felt the need to reiterate. I know not everybody uses this much foundation, and that's totally fine, girl. You use whatever kind of coverage you feel is best, but even my husband watching was like, wow, what a difference. Um, so I just showed the benefit professional. I realized that I had forgotten to tell y'all that I had already put that on off camera because I let it sink in. So after all that foundation is applied, I like to just kind of push and stipple it in with my Real Technique sponge just to make sure everything is laying smoothly. Then I go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. I am in the shade Fair and just put it in all the regular places. And then of course I always set my concealer with this Wet n Wild Contour Kit. I just love it y'all, that yellow under eye brightening powder is the best. For my whole face I'm still sticking with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Like I said, with that sponge, just gently pushing and pressing it into the skin really helps reduce oil and helps with the longevity of your foundation as well. I love it. And now moving on to brows. We are using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill. I talked about this in my kind of get to know me, answer your questions kind of video, and I am so ride or die for this product. I have tried so many products, eyebrow products, both high end and drugstore. And to me, this one takes the cake. It is a dupe for the Anastasia brow definer, but it is half the price. It's got just the right amount of waxiness to adhere to your natural brow hair, but it's not so much to where it looks unnatural. And I really just love it, y'all. It takes a minute because brows are not that interesting to do or to watch, and you have to make sure they're symmetrical and they look as natural as possible. And I actually like to, when I'm done getting everything just right, I actually like to buff them out a little bit with a big powder brush. It sounds silly, but it helps diffuse them ever so slightly and make them look more natural. Okay, now it is time to contour, which is one of my favorite parts of the makeup application process. I just love it. I feel like it brings your cheeks to life. I'm using the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I love it. It's just an oldie but a goodie. And I do like to take it up to my forehead as well. 
brings the whole look together, I think. And we're going to do a little nose contour today because I'm in the mood. I actually showed that on my very first video and I love it. I think it just completes the look. It makes you feel a little bit more jazzy if you're in the mood. And I um, went ahead and added the little highlight exclamation point down the center of the nose while I was at it really brings definition and just slims out the nose if that's your thing. Went ahead and highlighted the brow bone and the inner corner while I was at it. So now that we are nice and contoured, I want to go in with a little bit of bronzer. This is the Rimmel bronzer. I don't do this every time. I typically just do contour or bronzer, but we are doing a spring makeup and we want to look sunny and warm and bronzed. So I just went back over those areas with a little bit of bronzer. Now we're gonna do blush. This is the Becca Split Pan in the shade Pamplemousse. I love it, nice, rosy, bring the cheeks to life. And for highlight, y'all, I can't help myself. <laughs> Jeffree Star Sarcophagus, I love it. I can't stay away, I mean, it's gorgeous. I will use a different highlighter next time, I promise. But in the meantime, mm, I love it. And now it is time for eyes, and we are using the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Vault Collection, the Bling Boss Palette, and I am first going in with the shade Rockstar. It is a really pretty, warm kind of eggplant color. I absolutely love it. Almost all the shades in this particular palette are purple themed, which is great because I have green eyes, and purple really accentuates green. And as you can see, I just put that one rock star color all throughout the crease and then went in and buffed it out with a big fat brush. And we are going to go in with some winged liner. And I wanted to show y'all something today and try to keep it as real as possible and show that everybody makes mistakes. I was going for a winged liner and it wasn't working out, y'all. I struggle with a winged liner anyway, even when I'm not filming myself and I'm not holding a wonky <laughs> mirror up with a sticker still showing on the back on it. And when you are filming yourself and trying to get at a certain angle, it's I was riding the struggle bus. So no worries. There is a solution for that. It wasn't looking too hot. So I just took a little small definer brush and a little baby bit of black shadow. And I just buffed out that line, made it a little bit smokier. I didn't do the wing today, but that's okay. I didn't beat myself up over it. And it actually made um, my lash line look a little bit thicker in the process. So I am going underneath my lash line now and just combining the shades Rockstar and Spark and buffing out my lower lash line with those two shades. And now we are going in with mascara. It's the same ones I used last time, but I love them. The Maybelline Lash Sensational and the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Um, the Maybelline Lash Sensational to me is really good at lengthening and separating and the Better Than Sex just gives incomparable volume. I love it. So there's nothing really that exciting about <laughs> watching someone put on mascara, but it is all part of the process and y'all, I was having such a good time today. I knew I was going to do a voiceover, so I was jamming out to all my music and I was just into it. It was a happy time in my basement. Lower lash line will always be my jam. You can't take it away from me. Makes the look so much better in my opinion. And just going in with the better than sex now to complete the eyes. Wanted to show y'all a little tip that I learned just in case you didn't know. Sometimes when you're applying mascara and you get what's called like mascara freckles where it transfers a place you don't want it like randomly on your eyelid or beneath your lower lash line, get yourself a Q-tip. Wait a good 30 seconds to like a minute. Let it dry. Get yourself a Q-tip and it will come off like a magic eraser. It's amazing. And we have now arrived to lips. I am going to line my lips. I don't do it every single time. I kind of have to be in the mood, but today I was in the mood because I knew I was using a liquid lippy and I wanted a really nice precise line. So I am using the Jordana lip pencil in the shade Baby Berry. And I am going in with the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid. 
in the shade Berry Boost on my lips. I really like this formula for anyone who's curious. It is kind of just like a high pigmented, not overly glossy, long lasting gloss, if that makes sense. Um, it's nice and moisturizing and I really love the color. I think it's beautiful for spring. Okay, now that that lippy is on as good as it's gonna get, what I like to do is take my Real Techniques sponge again because I get so oily so quickly and just kind of pat everything out, random stray hair there, and just make sure everything's in its place. And then I will take that yellow powder shade one more time and just ever so slightly touch up under my eyes because sometimes the shadow can fall down and that just freshens the look back up. And then finally, I will go in with some Morphe setting spray to set the look in place. And this is the finished look. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.